what's up guys, this is Jeff from CanyonCreations.com and I'm here to explain to you how the SP2 chip works. Um, this is just like any other iMac chip where in order to program it, you hold down the button to start programming it. The only difference is it just doesn't start off with colors, it starts off with different choices of modes and you have eight different uh, choices of modes in order to choose from. And in order to start programming it, like I said, it's like the original chip. And what you do is you just hold down the button and then it starts cycling through the modes that you can uh, choose from. The first one you have your uh, strobe mode and you can choose up to one to six colors with this one. The second one is your hyper strobe. You could choose up to one to four colors with this. Third is your dot mode and you can choose up to one to six colors with this. Fourth is your tracer and you can choose up to four colors with this. First mode being the trace which is like the red in this light and then the um, other colors will be your dots in between the traces. And then uh, you have your ribbon, and you can choose up to one to six colors with this. And then the next three um, modes after this can't program anything. It's just kind of the way that they're supposed to be. They're already like programmed in there. They're slow fading. Like this one is um, slow fading rainbow. This is just a fade. And then your last one is a rainbow. And then when you're ready to choose what mode you want to work with, you just cycle through. It has to be from the first to the fifth mode. And what you do is, say if I want to make a, um, a hyper strobe, what you'll do is you'll hold down the button and then you'll start cycling through your colors. Um, the SP2 chip has all the same colors previous to the original IMAX chips except for that it now includes orange. And then it also includes some other um, colors with like uh, I think they're called like cotton candy modes or something like that but um, I'll cycle through the colors for you first one being a red second blue third green white pink light pink silver white peach yellow cyan lavender pink hot pink lime green and then you have your gap and then it starts going through what I uh, was telling you guys earlier about like the con candy modes. Like this one has a, um, it's like a ribbon I guess you could say with pink and blue. There's like a yellow and red, pink and red, uh, I don't know, like a yellow and red or something like that with white. Um, white and red, lavender and red, uh, pink and blue, uh, cyan and white with the gap. I think that's like a turquoise or aqua and blue, um, pink and red, and just start cycling through all these different kinds of modes. And then you have uh, what was added into the ship, which is the orange, and then you go back to your previous colors, the original um, colors like the red and the blue and the green. So now I'm going to start picking my colors and I uh, chose a hyper strobe, so I'm going to choose cyan with silver white and then instead of going all the way towards the end uh, where I have the gap because these are the only two colors that I want my hyper strobe I just have to double click and then it's going to take me back to the programming mode and that's if I want to keep on programming uh, more modes which I guess I will start programming a strobe just to show you guys I'm going to hold down the button and then I'm going to choose three different colors Well, I clicked it too fast, so that just um, uh, programming mode. So one thing is, don't click the button too fast, just like I did, because then it's just um, it's basically saying that you double clicked it in order to basically choose and um, be satisfied with your mode. So now I'm just gonna make a I'll make a tracer, and I'll show you guys a pretty cool thing to do with tracers. So I'll choose the gap as my first mode, hold that down, and then I'll choose three other colors, then I'm back to programming mode, and say these are the only two or three modes that I want, now I'm going to double click it pretty fast, and then the light's off, and now as you can see when I turn this light on, I have the first color uh, that I made, which was my hyper strobe, and then the second one, which I messed up on when I double clicked, and I just have like a pink uh, one strobe, 
and then I have the mode that I just made, which is the tracer, but with the first color being a gap, which makes a pretty cool kind of like dot mode hyper strobe, and then it just cycles through the modes. And just like previous IMAX shifts, all you have to do is hold down the button in order to turn them off, and then that's it. And then say if you ever were going through cycling your modes and you messed up like I did and you don't want that mode in there, all you have to do is take out the um, batteries in order to reset the chip and then just start all over again. Some pretty cool tips with uh, these lights if you want to get like a cool effect. For mode 5, which is the ribbon, if you program one color and two blank colors, it becomes a quick flash like, um, was it the hyper strobe of a... Um, Micromax uh, 3 mode chip. And then um, for the hyper show, if you program one color and one blink and one color and one blink, it becomes a hyper flash. And then for the strobe, if you program two of each color, so for example, red, red, green, green, blue, blue, you have a stutter strobe. Um, these chips are pretty amazing, I would say. I mean, I would never have guessed that lights were gonna become like this as the years went on. And you're not only limited to, let's say I just made three modes, you can actually make up to 60 modes. So if you want 60 modes in your light, then go for it. If you want one, go for it. But that's pretty much it for these lights and hope you guys understand what to do and how to work these from this video.